Hey, I'm Dylan. So, you want someone else to write articles on your website and you're prepared to pay the premium prices the various different content mills offer you. Well, I'm going to tell you that you should not pay for content mills. The amount of money they charge for response posts and other posts is just simply not worth it. I spent a lot of money on content mills last year that I wish I spent on my own writers. I sold all my investments and spent $2,800 on 30 articles from a popular contact mill. I wish I didn't do that. Now, I train my own writers and spend anywhere between $10 to $25 on a thousand word article. With that money that I spent on the content mill, I could have got 186 articles for my tech site. I can guarantee I'd be earning more money with that 2,800 if I put it into my own writers. These companies charge roughly $75 for a typical response post, which is between 1,000 to 1,350 words. The problem is, unless you have a lot of financial capital already, it is extremely difficult to scale spending that much money on, co on content. Because with blogging, it's more about how much output you have rather than the quality of content. One excellent piece of content, you know, no matter how many hours you put, might only get a thousand page views. Whereas if you use your own writers and you produce five times as much content in less time than it costs to outsource it because you have to wait for the articles to come back, you could produce five more articles. I just think the return on investment is so much better spent on hiring your own writers. Now, if you wanna see how you can hire your own writers from places like Upwork and get the best possible return on your investment, please take a look at the card. When I spent the $2,800 on 30 articles, I ordered them on the 7th of July. I got everything back on the 7th of October with the first article coming back on the 14th September. This means it took nine whole weeks to get all, all my articles back from the content. So I have several writers. On average, they will produce three articles a week, three 1,000 word articles a week, totaling 3,000 words a week, 12,000 words a month. And this is between one writer. So not only will you able to get back a lot more words faster than outsourcing. It's just so much more cheaper as well. Yes, certain content meals turnarounds are a lot faster than the one I used because this one is probably the biggest one. So they have a lot of different clients, a lot of different emails exchanging. But no matter what content meal you choose, they're never gonna get back to you faster than having your own writers because it gives you leverage. In business, you want to have the most leverage or control you have over your business as possible. This is why having your own online business, in my opinion, is a lot better than a nine to five job because you have complete control of how much you get paid. And if you increase your income, you get paid with that income. The reason you're paying $75 for a response post is you're paying for the ease of not finding these writers yourself. What you might get back in time, you lose leverage because I have complete control of who my writers are who writes each specific article, how long it takes them because I, I have deadlines and how much they get paid. I have complete leverage, I have complete control. I've been going a lot cheaper with my writing and spending $15, but even spending $15, you can get people qualified in your niche. You have the complete control. If you wanna spend 50, 60, $70 on a response post for someone really qualified in your niche, you know, something to do with medicine or tech, you have the ability to find that people. And also you have the ability to find the more budget bargains when you're paying 15, $10 for someone, but they can still produce good work. With outsourcing from a content mill, you're only ever gonna play that flat fee of $75 a month. I can guarantee, depending on some niches, you can pay a lot less and still retain the quality to have articles that rank number one on Google. If you're finding this video helpful, please like and subscribe because it helps it spread to more people. And you also have the leverage to use your writers on different articles. So when you have your own writers, you have the leverage to use your writers in different niches. So two of my main websites, gaming and tech, they're both similarly related. They're both forms of tech. So I have a writer that I've been with for a long time, around about November, and I was paying her $10 for gaming. But when I gave her articles for tech, 
she wanted a little bit more money, she wanted to be paid $15. And that's okay for me. I have the leverage to use the same writer and pay them a little bit more for when the niche requires a lot more research and a lot more demand. With Content Mill, you're only ever gonna pay $75, no matter what. No matter if that article could have been written for 10 or 15, you're always gonna pay that 75. When you have your own writers, you have the choice to look for someone authoritative in your niche or someone who just writes simple art. Remember, you never want to sacrifice control in your business. And fourthly, they're not going to care as much as you. You are the heifer or hefe of your business. You are number one. Every little article in your business should be really important to you. You should be looking at everything with a fine tooth comb and finding the very best articles to rank number one. If you want to know how to find articles that crush your competition in Google, please take a look at the card. If you hire to a content mill, you are just their customer. Your website is not gonna mean so much to them because they have, you know, a hundred, maybe even more clients. So they're not gonna put the attention and detail into finding the best writer for your query in their pool of writers. Depending on your niche, it's gonna be very, very difficult for a content mill to find the perfect writer for you. For example, one of my websites is Golf. I have a writer that I'm spending $20 a month on and he's obviously he's a PGA Tour professional he knows how to play golf I guarantee if I spent that was my money at $20 $75 on a content mill they're just gonna find any Tom Dick and Harry who's available for that work do you think they're gonna have someone who knows about golf in their plethora of writers maybe but it's unlikely you have the leverage to find qualified people in your niche qualified soldiers in your writing squadron they're not going to care to find the best person for you because they just want to, you know, give your article in a timely basis. Now, you, most content mills, if you're not happy with the article, you can send it back and rewrite. Because one article out of the 30 articles that I've written was terrible. They did not do the course's method whatsoever and I did not like the way they wrote. Now, they got another article back to me. But it was a waste of time that I'm editing this article when if I know it's, I'm getting an article with someone who's qualified in the niche that I found myself via pro blogger, via Upwork, then I know it's going to be good irregardless. I'm never going to get back something that isn't good enough for me. You understand? Now you might argue, oh Dylan, there's so much more work finding your own articles. I don't know how to do it. What you give up on time, you lose in the return on investment. You lose leverage. Yes, it is a lot easier to pay $75 and be like, okay, you do all the hard work for me, but you're going to lose the leverage. You're going to lose the ability to find qualified people in your niche. You, the most importantly, you're going to lose the ability to teach people how to get better because I can get someone for $10 and I can over time, if they're willing and they stick with me, I can make them become a $30 writer because some, some writers, I've made her become maybe a $15 writer into a $30 writer. And that's because of my effort, my teaching. You learn more about your business and especially more about blogging when you teach people how to do it. In the video that I've already mentioned, I go through the process of how I teach people. And obviously over time, because you get so many different writers from different backgrounds, you improve the videos that you give them, you improve the resources. And over time, you make your writing machine more and more qualified. When you have a content meal, it's, it's just a transaction. You're just a customer for someone else's business where you get back the response post. With me, it's like I'm making my factory on a conveyor belt of writers just get more and more powerful, more and more better. The machines are getting more and more better. You don't have that luxury with um, a content meal. And fifth, and I mentioned this many times, it is a lot easier to find writers, qualified writers in your niche than you think. All you have to do, and you can see in more detail in my video, you just have to go on Upwork, you have to write down a proposal, obviously make the title sexy as well. You have to mention the price in the title, and then you've got to mention your specifications of how you want them to write, etc, etc. And then you give them one test article. I might pay, I've obviously burnt a lot of money on writers who either were not on it, who did not adhere to my guidelines, who didn't speak good English. And obviously you're gonna wait, you know, maybe $10, $20 on one article to find the good qualified people in your niche. But you can imagine with a content meal, you could drop $75 and then the article isn't to a good standard. Because out of all the articles of those 30 posts, it was good, 
it was decent work it was it was decent the niche wasn't the best it was to do with farming but i struggled to think that i couldn't have found better more qualified writers who have experience in the niche of farming via something like upward or pro blogger i hope i made you understand why finding your own writers is the best possible action for your business i appreciate you watching i'll see you in the next one goodbye